Rude. Well, good afternoon, good morning, whatever it is. What are we on now? 11.30, good morning. Well, on Sunday night, we got our Sunday night headliner on Sunday night. Is that right? Taylor Swift has been announced as the Sunday night pyramid stage, main stage festival closer for the 50th year of Glastonbury. My opinions are shared with a lot of the people on different uh, forums and communities here. And, and you know what, like Taylor Swift is a massive artist. Taylor Swift is huge, hugely celebrated artist. Here's my issues. I, I think she's too commercial. When we look at Glastonbury over the last, you know, 15 years, we've had some more pop spikes, for sure. Coldplay, are very much a commercial band. Um, Beyonce and Jay-Z are very, very much big commercial American artists. But I think when you look at Beyonce and Jay-Z, they're also kind of a little bit rock and roll. They are genre-defying, they are huge, huge stars, and have come on to, go on, gone on to be something even bigger than, than what they are now, or, or were before. So I'm in this place with Taylor Swift where <sighs> she's just too commercial. Now, that being said, I have vouched for Taylor Swift to headline Glastonbury for many, many years. I think she should have headlined in about 2013, 2014. The height of 1989 would have just been, that for me, that was the pinnacle of her in her kind of, where she was in her career. I mean, all those records are amazing. Ryan Adams obviously then went and, and covered the entire album and it was beautiful, it was wonderful. I, the songwriting and structure that went into those that record is is amazing but i feel like that opportunity was missed and that's where i'm at with taylor swift on top of that and this is incredibly personal and is not a valid argument for why anyone else should be upset with her but why i am upset is that i actually went and saw her last year my girlfriend and her best friend and i went to go see her at the gabba in brisbane which was a lot of fun she was she was great like she's an amazing performer she really is she's great and she's huge she's absolutely massive and she's got amazing records and she has a big party but it was very much a seen that done that and so personally i'm not ex particularly excited about about her playing because it's not had i not gone and seen her i would probably feel very different about this but i think that's probably where my head is at with with Taylor Swift headlining Glastonbury. It's this, it's similar to Ed Sheeran for me in terms of, I'm not really sure it sits well. That's me, who cares? I'm just being a grumpy old man. But on top of Taylor Swift being announced to headline the Sunday night at Glastonbury, and also our other confirmation is Diana Ross doing the legendary slot on the Sunday. And we also have Paul McCartney confirmed to do the main stage. So the pyramid stage on the Saturday. Who else? is gonna be there. I have been watching and watching the headlines and reading through things all the time. If you are really interested in any of this, and I highly recommend going and joining the Glastonbury Facebook group. I would also recommend, I'm not sure if there is a Reddit subgroup for Glastonbury, but there should be. Certain people have self-confirmed themselves. Liam Gallagher has said that he wishes to play a smaller slot on like in one of the little tents. On top of that, we also have people like Carl Cox, legendary DJ Carl Cox, and Mike Skinner self-confirming themselves. Whether that's Mike Skinner doing a DJ set or whether that's the street, we don't know at this stage. Two weeks ago, Rage Against the Machine put out this poster, which says very clearly that they'll be playing in Somerset, not anywhere else, it just says Somerset, on the Saturday night of Glastonbury Festival. This basically rules them out for Reading and Leeds for me, but where else are they going to play in Somerset? Bath Pavilion? I don't think so. So, the Reading Against the Machine potentially headlining the other stage, which I think would be f***ing brilliant, and I would not be going to watch Paul McCartney, although I'd probably dip in for a song or two. But Rage Against the Machine, amazing. Also, self-confirmed for that Saturday, was this band with this poster. Yes, Aerosmith. Wow. Just in terms of, in terms of who the f last year I did, for those of you that are watching uh, this and are not, are not aware of the content I've been putting out over the last year, last year I went across every single artist playing at Reading and Leeds, bar like two, because they were announced the day before, 
and I made a short introduction video about them who I thought that they were inspired by. For the bigger artists, like Foo Fighters, they were long videos. They were fun to do. This year, I've got Liam Gallagher, I've got Diana Ross, I've got Paul McCartney, Taylor Swift, that reminds me, I've got to add that to my list. I've got Radiant the Machine, I've got Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses are rumoured to be playing now. These aren't small artists. These are huge artists that require loads and loads and loads and loads of research, which is great for the content, but a little daunting, not gonna lie. So, that, that's amazing. I'm well excited to see those people. I'm just looking through on the e-festival's rumoured lineup. You've got people like Adam Scott, you've got Amongst the Pigeons, Beans on Toast, Chris Lorenzo, Craig Charles, Crowded House, Earth, Wind and Fire, Elbow, Brilliant, Fatboy Slim, Brilliant. I mean, it makes sense to me that Fatboy Slim would play at least a set across that weekend. Uh, Foles are set as a rumour, Hame are set as a rumour, Hobo, Jo oh, not Hobo Johnson, Inhaler, which would make sense. I think Inhaler's gonna have a massive year. More about Inhaler in another video. Kendrick Lamar, who is the strong rumour for the Friday night headline. Oh, whew, I'm excited about that. I've seen Kendrick twice, he is the goat. I'll argue with anyone about that. I will argue with everyone till the cows come in that Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper of all time. Of all time. Greatest rapper of all time, no problem. No, don't even, don't even start. The argument will be made for the next year. Lana Del Rey, brilliant. Not seen Lana Del Rey, neither has my girlfriend and she loves her, so it will be great to see her. Capaldi, Madonna is set as a rumoured act, but that's a headline, isn't it? Madonna's the f***ing headliner, not f***ing halfway down. Noel Gallagher, High Flying Birds, of course. Whether he'll play the same weekend as uh, Liam is yet to be confirmed. Strong rumour for the other stage on the Sunday. Paul McCartney obviously has been announced. Supergrass, Taylor Swift, 1975, a set also potential other stage headliners on the Friday. You've got the Kinks, Tom York and Wolf Alice have been also been confirmed. So, loads and loads to go through. Loads and loads of rumours there. Would love to see some more of those people uh, you know, I think the cool thing about what I did last year was I got to discover loads and loads of bands this year, adding a festival like Glastonbury, which is very different, very, very different to Reading, will really open my, my palette for music up a little bit more. Well, I hope so anyway. That's, you can only but hope. So, yes. So, confirmed, we have Diana Ross, Wolf Alice, Paul McCartney and Taylor Swift with some self-confirmers of Aerosmith and Rage Against the Machine and my Skinner and Carl Cox. So already we've got a lovely little lineup for Glastonbury. I'd really like some more names for Reading. Every other f***ing festival started to announce their lineup, so why not them? But whilst we're getting all these lovely rumours for Glastonbury, this content around this festival will be much bigger. Who else do you want to see on that lineup? Who who are you dying to see? If we're getting Rage Against the Machine, Paul McCartney, Aerosmith, and Taylor Swift already, you can tell the budget is big for this year and that we are getting a real variety of absolute classic bands. Aerosmith are a headline act. The fact that they are, they've, they've announced they're playing on Saturday, as are Rage Against the Machine, I really, I'm really excited to see what this lineup is going to be like this year. Huge, huge. Who do you want to see? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always, and I will always see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.